So this week, the Colorado crew and I went out to this really cool historic property here in Northern Colorado. It's this 1850s log cabin. I've been out here before, but I decided to bring the crew along with me. And man, were we surprised. We found some really cool stuff. And then we headed on down the road to yet another historical property that we visited before. Let's just get right to it. All right, so I'm up against the log cabin here. I'm not gonna show too much of the property, but uh, having a blast despite the wind. And I think I can speak for all the guys when I say we're just having a great time today. All right, Jeffrey's got his first target here. Uh, a washer? Yeah, it's a washer. All right. It's a hemweight. Is that a hemweight? Yeah, it's absolutely a hemweight. Oh, it is. It's got oh, the, it is a hemweight. So it's going to have a, yeah, could you hey, clean what's, it? What's a hemweight? Hem About three pounds. <laughs> okay. okay. So yeah. they used to put them like in the skirts and the, the Victorian age there you go. kind of dresses to help hold them down. Hold the dresses that's down the so they wouldn't down fly up. The wouldn't fly, make them fly up. It's a that's weight. That that's, that's sweet. They that's sewed it into period. the hem. That's yeah. awesome. Dress. Yeah. It's Sometimes they would use them for curtains too. That's awesome, man. Cool, man. A hem weight. weight. That's what it's hem called. H E M weight. Yep. Well, you can see by those by what it rang up at. Yeah, they would sew them in. In. They would show them, sew them into dresses with that yep. center. center that's what that center down. pin's for. Okay. I love it. That's, that's the first, that's, first relic. Yeah. Look at you, yeah, man. That is awesome. awesome. Thanks, Jim. Good target. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Hey, go sit in the car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your timeout. Oh. Whoever finds gold is done for the day. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> You got the whole yep. reed plate. Good job, man. I've never I found an that. entire reed plate. That is awesome, man. Pound it. that for a relic. Mu that is cool. Too. I found pieces of those, but never a whole never thing. Never a whole plate? Yeah. Maybe there'll, maybe there'll be some kind of riding. Uh, it looks like it got hit with a uh, Victorian era yeah. lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. For Ken Something found else. what looks like a pipe, but maybe somebody at home will know. You know, it probably is. It's probably a window. <laughs> <laughs> probably a window crank. But it what's that hole? Be. What's that hole doing? In yeah. There? Right. <laughs> it's hollow all the way in there. Huh. <laughs> we'll put it in the old what is it file. I like it. Mystery find. Mystery find. All right. Tony just said he's got a lantern. Oh, it is a lantern topper. And it was deep. Yes. But it was it was very very high. And uh, I couldn't get away from it. Uh, that is a nice find. Yeah, I'll take that. That's it's old. Yeah, very cool. And you know, somebody on on YouTube said I think it was this morning that brass piece that you found down the road. He thought it might be uh, lantern oh. finial. Because oh. some of the some of the some of the toppers on, on top oh, of the interesting. thing. I'll have uh, to look back at that piece. I yeah. still have it. Yeah. Um well, that's cool. Any markings? I don't see anything. Nope, I don't see any. It's crushed, but you know, it's intact. Yeah. Very nice. Cool. So I want to apologize for the wind. It was extremely windy that day. It was absolutely ridiculous. Hopefully some of the audio is usable. So just bear with me. All right, Jeff just called and said he's got a not sure. And you know what? I'm not sure either. <laughs> what do you think that is? We Tony, need that. Tony's, a, Tony's not as a not sure guy. Tony's a good not sure guy. It's definitely decorative. You see the decorative on the side there? I see it now. Yeah. Uh-oh. I don't know what that is. Uh-oh. What's that? Sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're fine, man. Look at that wind. I don't, I don't know. We're going to have to come back on that one. All right, we'll hey, get back to it. I was pumped. I was I'm, pumped. I'm still pumped. It could be something. Yeah, absolutely. So there's glass. It's really decorative on this side. Yeah. And there's glass in the middle. So and that's, see, we broke, we broke a little piece of that. See, so you think there was like a shank on the back? I don't know. It's got me perplexed. I was going to say button, but... Let's see the other side of that, because I don't know if you can see at home, but the, it reflects the sunlight. So there's definitely glass in the middle. Oh, that would be so cool that if there was a the photo. Picture. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Huh. That's a lot of care to put into. I'll tell you what. You like clean that. that up when you get yep. home, get back to us? Yes, sir. Awesome.
I could find it. That was like a flattened, smash, flattened three ringer, but. Yeah, let's look at that concave back again. Yeah. yeah the, the lines on this, those lines right there got me thinking three ringer. And it's very, very smashed, which means that should be conical and hollow in there. Maybe when I get to digging it out, but it sure looks pretty solid. Yeah. Huh. Heavy. Lead. Definitely lead. Nice. Yeah, right. Man. Very cool. Great seal button. No. Great seal button. Unbelievable. We're not sure if it's World War One or World War Two yet, but we can look at the back mark and determine that. Let's get the expert in, huh? Yeah. Who's the expert? <laughs> All right, get in here, Tony. All right. What have you got? I don't worry. You're I'll joking, you right? Drop it. <laughs> You're joking. Can't come find it. I can't find it. You guys are gonna have to leave. <laughs> Go back All right, we dropped. One of us dropped the great seal token or button. Yes, yeah, can't find it. Back a little bit, huh? Go back. Really? Oh, there it is. Right there. Oh. Back yeah, right there, right where you found it. Okay, I'm handing it to you now. Okay. You got it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, Sorry look about at that. that. Nice. World War One or World War Two general service button? Absolutely. World War One. World War One? Yep. How can you how do you determine right off the bat? It says right there on the bottom in fine print. Okay, it says WW1. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if there was it's a, just the first one. It might be shameless, I don't know. So it's gonna from what I have researched if you look and you start brushing it off yeah. the back has like stri striations yes across the back all across the back of it yes that'd be world war one sweet do you want to brush see on the that's how you know on the right side there well uh, all one the side's the brass okay. Okay. okay yeah don't go that that was nice bro oh my gosh look at the look at this yeah look at this. You're, not leaving the, you're not stealing that one that's when you have a channel that's how you know <laughs> Somebody gave that for me for my golf in one of my golf tournaments. Oh, look how pretty that thing is. It's in good shape, huh? It's in great shape. What a relic. So, are we, can we determine anything by the back of it? You can. Well, well I, I've been researching back marks. Yeah. That's a two piece, and that one's missing. Yeah, it's so, missing. Okay. The back, which means probably World War One, right? Yeah. Two piece. Congrats, Jeff. That's Thank awesome. You guys. That's cool. Yeah. That's sweet. sweet. So out of this plug, I just pulled out what I think is a bracelet. I found, I apologize for the wind, let's see if I can block it. I found similar Hollywood pinups. Hey, that's cool. Who doesn't like a Hollywood pinup? Let's see here. Something web products. Huh. Yeah, I'm guessing it's a bracelet. Let's see if I can clean it up and, uh, see what we can see. All right, so I looked it up and these uh, Hollywood pinups are not what you might believe. This is actually an old uh, aluminum clothespin from the 1940s. Very cool. And that Hollywood pinup is then hanging I, on your wall. No, I mean, you could. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look, oh, at, the look at that. Patina. Look Such at a patina <laughs> on this one. Check it out. What? No way. For fu Shut up. It's a <laughs> ring. That's a that ring. Cool? Little serpent ring. <sighs> Anything precious? I don't have no idea, man. It doesn't look silver, does it? No, he didn't think it That's does. That's okay. Not heavy enough. But a ring's a ring, by, man. It was by the house. It's still got the little eye. The little eye in it. Yeah. That's cool. Isn't that sweet? Hey, you're on the board with the ring. Good job. Sweet. Yeah. You know, my wife found an article yesterday where it was a hoard of gold stashed in a hollow bone. So, why don't you uh, get that's out your been sod? Yeah. Clean. Well, that's so they could fit more gold in there. Probably. Just mare on that side.
No way. No, sir. No, sir. Time to crack that bone open. All right, so Tony just walked up and said, yeah, you're not gonna believe this. Oh, his looks better than mine. Mine's the Hollywood pinups. I was hoping for something a little sexier than just a clothespin. Red's pretty sexy, though. It is. That's so nice. I, I, you know, I don't know what, I might have to just wear it like this. Now, hold on, if we draw a line between where I found mine and where you found yours, this must have been the clothesline. It could be the clothesline. I haven't had any luck yet, but I'm... Uh, let's well, go. You, why don't you head that way? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll go, go over here. Way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? 1936 silver. Shut up. Shut up. Look at that. What is, what's this guy? We're going to start calling... Oh, his nickname's got to be... Quartermaster. <gasps> That's true. The right? quartermaster. quartermaster. Well, I think quarter yeah, hoarder's taken. I, li I like that. <laughs> That's yeah. nice, man. Thanks. Silver, we're on the board. Thanks. You're on the board. Thanks, buddy. We're yeah. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Probably a 2008 penny. <laughs> <laughs> Threw it in the hole. So at this point, the targets started thinning out a little bit and we were thinking, okay, let's head on down the street to this other property that we hit in last week's episode, which by the way, if you missed that episode, links in the description, absolutely amazing hunt. And then Jeff pulled out yet another artifact. All right, I just heard some excitement over here. <laughs> Jeffrey pulled out another. Right here, we have another a, is that two piece. It came out in two pieces, didn't it? I don't know. That's got the no, shank no, on it. No, it's got the shank on it. So we got a mystery item. Mystery item. And then another two-piece. That is the general. General uh, service. Yep, I think that is. Dude. The, that's awesome. And then, what do you guys think about this? I don't know. It's really round. Brush it. And brush it? Hit it. I feel like I should put the... You're not running off with that thing, are you? <laughs> I'm just excited. Man, I'm excited. Wouldn't that be great if you got two buttons out of one hole? It is, guys. guys it's another button. Is it? See the shank? No. Flip it over. Isn't that a shank right there? Yeah, and it looks yeah. iron. Yeah, it looks folded over. It looks iron. It is a shank. It's the back of a, another button. It's a back There's of another, another face in there, dude. Or it's the back of the one you found earlier. No, not the not the uh, not the World War One. Definitely. Do you think the? Wow. Watch that side, man. Let's see what's. You in think there. there's another one in the hole? I'm gonna check. There you go. I think I just got me a steel file, y'all. Yeah. Or a rasp. Isn't that what they call it? It's a little raspy. Let's get a second opinion. Yeah. File? File. What do they call them, a rasp? Maybe a rasp, yeah. Could be a knife, but I don't think so. It could be the handle. I'm going with uh, file. Great. Old, hey. Definitely old. Yeah. What'd you get there? Big old iron? Yeah, big old iron. Nice. These were old brass knuckles. We should have a competition to see who gets the biggest, the biggest iron. iron. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might win. Uh, I think <laughs> I'm in the area here. All right, so I got something at the depth. The depth that I want. What do we have there? I think we have a jar lid. Oh, yeah. Now, is the uh, porcelain liner in there. That's the question. And even better question is, is there a jar? Oh, shattered. This shattered porcelain liner. How sad. I'm sure it said genuine zinc on it. That's what they all say. Genuine porcelain zinc cap. Let's see if we get a, some writing on this put our sad remains in the bag. Tap that out. And let's see. Okay, old jar lid. So even though the guys and I were having a great time out at the log cabin, we decided to head on down the street to another 
kind of a sure thing, down at the old Stagecoach station site. Did not disappoint. It's about damn time. I've had a, <laughs> another rough day. It's not silver, don't get too excited. But it's not a nail. <laughs> For once, it's not a nail. What is it? It's oh. a round ball. No? Pistol ball? Yeah, pistol ball. Sweet. Or maybe what bigger. Oh yeah, maybe bigger. Like a musket ball or something? Yeah, musket yeah, ball. Yeah, musket ball. Really? Hey, yep. Yeah. Wow. Hey, about damn time. time. Yeah. That is so about, cool. Nice job, buddy. Wow. It's about time. Hey. <laughs> That's so That's cool. That's because I was chewing his ear. Oh, and it's been, it's hit stuff. something. It is something. Oh, yeah, it is something. Yeah, you can find the Black skull side. under there. <laughs> yeah. It's flying wow. around inside the skull. That's, 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 that's it. Deep. That's oh, what. That's great. Let's see if it has the, the nipple, the nipple on the it. Or 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 casting mold. I love a good nipple as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good ball right there. Wow. It definitely impacted. High, so how old, how old would that one be? That's you know that's gotta be pre 1860. Yeah, probably right in that time. Yeah. Good job, man. Thank you. Hey, see that? I'll tell you more. Oh. Name crap. <laughs> All right. Well, I just found that musket ball. I forgot to check my hole. And I've got something else here. Can we get two? Two musket balls? No. I think he's got a scrap, scrap piece of iron, but this is why you check your holes, people. Oh, wait. They may not be a scrap piece of iron at all. No, it's got a, it's got a little, another nipple. There's a, there's a theme with nipples today. So I'm not sure what that is, but it could be the end of a spoon. That's what I'm gonna say. It's the end of a spoon. All right, I got a second opinion here. Tony thinks this might be. Yeah, because they would have tacked, it would have yep. run through the end of the yep. pocket knife. Okay, this That's might be thing. the. That's old. Yeah. All right, it's a little piece of a pocket knife. Nice. Always check your holes. This is why. All right, Tony just pulled up something really cool. It honestly looks like I see R E A L at the top. Thank you. And at the bottom, I see OLD. OLD, real old. <laughs> you... I do see real now. If I li if I tilt it this way, I see R E A L. Yeah. It, it looks, looks like, a, like crown. a crown. All right. I'm gonna have to yell because the wind. But Tony got something again. It's cool looking, whatever it is. I don't know if that's a button. That was. It definitely is writing on it. It was something. Yeah. I see a CO on the, on the side over here. It's still something. Mystery item. Yep. All right. Love mystery items. So, so what did we learn about your little? Uh, All right. So not about. I was cleaning it a little bit more, <laughs> and I thought it was uh, it was casted yes, it on the is. back. Yep. Right. So I'm looking at this, and I'm reading maybe in the middle above the circle. I thought it said SEP. Yeah. And I'm like, what is a date? That's this round, this small. Yes. And I said it operates this way, though. Do the folks at home know what that is? I sure hope so. They it should. would have connected to a post. Yes. And gone into an oil lantern, and that's what was the wick dial to raise and lower your wick on your oil lantern. So we have September. Do we have a year? No. I'll have to, I'll have to toothpick it. Okay, we'll come back on the year. Too cool. <laughs> All right, I just called the guys over because I think I found something. I just uh, pulled out the plug. It was actually pretty shallow for uh, what I think it is. Uh -oh. Wow! Look at that. It's a tiny one, too. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes! Wow. Oh, My second sweet. one. Second one, all right. Dude, good job. Who's got a brush? Can you guys tell us it's a general service? Can't tell yet. Oh, it's a little, oh, oh, it's it's broken. Broken. It's a little broken. Oh, That's all right. No. That's all right. Be real. It's really, it's really yeah. delicate. Yeah. This is too big of a brush. That's all right. Congrats, buddy. Beautiful, though. I got, I got some good uh, video of it before it broke, so it, it looked right through the, to the yeah. crest. So, what do you think? I mean, oh. my guess, I didn't see a D or an A or anything like that on it, so. Focus. 
It's in really good shape. Here, I'll just, uh, the back should be uh, good to clean. Yeah. I don't think we can hurt it. Ooh, great shank. Yeah, nice. you're gonna be Scoville. Scoville? Yep. Scoville. Yep. Very Definitely nice. Scoville. You think that would have been like a cuff button? Yes. Yeah, okay. Absolutely, it's a cuff button. Very cool. Yeah, good job, man. Congrats, Thank you. Buddy. Thank you. All right, well, this is the wrap up, guys. We've got uh, Tony's uh, got some really neat stuff here. We've got this mystery button. The, uh, oh, what do you call it? The little turning thing for the lamp. A couple Wheaties. Uh, he got a uh, old. 1940s clothespin, just like I found, at the top to a lamp. And then uh, DK, he's got a nice uh, iron pipe or the crank to something. Old uh, three ringer bullet's been smashed. I uh, got a washer, large ammo, got this nice uh, spoon handle here. We think that's pewter. And then. Uh, We'll save the best for last, because Jeffrey did the best today. But, I think this is a lock plate. It's not way, that's, not way big. And that's what I'm told. The guys think that might be a lock plate. We've got the uh, general service cuff button there. One musket ball. And another 1940s clothespin. Something interesting decorative crap here. And then Jeffrey just killed it today. This hem weight, started off with a hem weight. One, two service buttons, and I don't think you guys got to see this neat little serpent ring here. One silver quarter, 1936. Was that Philadelphia? Yes. Good job, Jeffrey. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. And we think this might have had a photo in the middle. There is a piece of glass. It just really looks like, I don't know, there should have been a photo. There should have been a photo. We got a little belt buckle there. Uh, and Jeffrey, what did we decide this uh, mystery round item here is? We don't know yet. I'm going to clean it, but okay. we don't know. And mystery, mystery round put the iron back item. And as always, a lot of trash. We got a, we got a bucket of trash. Well, once again, the Colorado crew and I had a great time out of the old stagecoach station, the old log cabin. One of the homeowners came out and they said, you know, it's not really about the, the treasure, the, the artifacts, the gold coins. He said, it's really about the camaraderie, isn't it? And I said, absolutely it is. I mean, this was just one of the best days, even though we didn't find nearly what we found in the last week's episode. We still just had a great time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff, and we'll see you next time.